Hello, my name is Doug. Welcome to Camino 2020. This is a section of my channel where I detail preparations for walking the Camino de Santiago in Spain next year. And today it's time to talk about poop. Okay, look, real talk time. I'm sure you don't want to talk about poop any more than I do, but this has become a serious issue on the Camino. Pilgrims are littering the Camino paths with toilet paper and the leftover from doing their business, and it is becoming a very serious problem over in Spain. Now, this is obviously disgusting and horrible, and it's incredible that it's happening at all. I know when I first heard about it, I kind of assumed people were just overreacting until I started seeing some of the pictures. Then I thought, well, maybe it's really bad, but it's just not happening that much. But it's actually gotten so bad that people on some of the forums are starting to joke about following the white instead of following the arrows, meaning the toilet paper. This is horrendous, people, and it needs to stop. Now, I get the fact that a lot of people go out and walk the Camino, they don't backpack, They've got no idea how to toilet on the trail. If you're freaked out about the idea, believe me, I totally understand. And today I wanna to offer some words of encouragement and then look at some tools that can help out. First things first, it is not nearly as bad as you might think. In fact, if you do it right, pooping in the woods can actually be more pleasant than going in your bathroom. How can that possibly be? Well, it's because of human anatomy. When you're out in the woods, you're kind of forced to squat. There's just not really any other position that's going to work very well when you don't have a throne to sit on. And what's interesting about the porcelain throne is that it actually doesn't set your body up very well when you have to lay some cable. It just kind of lines your pipes up better. Things come out faster, easier, and with a lot less mess. So the first thing to get over is the idea that you need a toilet. You don't. They actually can be unhelpful when it comes to doing your business. In fact, you might have even seen devices that help you squat when you're on the toilet. The way the human race pooped for millennia works just fine, and this idea that you have to sit at a 90 degree angle on a chair is a fairly modern idea that doesn't really sit very well with the facts of biology. What are the steps involved? No, I'm not gonna go out into the woods and demonstrate. There is probably somebody else on YouTube that has demonstrated in a more detailed fashion. Feel free to look them up. First of all, go far enough away that no matter what you do, nobody's gonna see you doing it and nobody's going to see the aftermath, which should be invisible anyway. You also wanna make sure that you are several hundred feet from any water source. You definitely don't wanna be transferring your bacteria into that water supply. So stay way far away from water and get far enough off the trail that nobody is just gonna inadvertently walk through where you were and maybe step in your cat hole. What's a cat hole? A cat hole is what hikers call the hole that you dig to do your business in. And that is where a trowel comes in handy. This is the UST U Dig It. It is a very thin, lightweight trowel. So if you have one of these hanging off your pack with the included carabiner, you'll be ready to go at a moment's notice. Now, some people kind of flinch when they think about what this is for. Keep in mind, this doesn't touch your poop. This is for digging in the dirt. This should not be any dirtier than the dirt you're walking on ever. The toilet paper really should be packed out. The toilet paper doesn't go in the hole because it can get dug up by animals, spread around, it doesn't biodegrade very quickly. You should be putting that thing in a heavy Ziploc bag or something and packing it to the next place you can dump it safely. Now another interesting option that I've only heard about recently is the Hygiena Solo. And I first heard about this on some hiking channel where this was like a pro tip that one of the guys gave. He said this thing has saved him so much trouble. Basically, it's meant to fit on a water bottle. So you have one water bottle that you only use for this purpose. You put the Hygiena Solo on it, and then it becomes a squirt bottle for your Heine. Now, I know to us Americans, the idea of a bidet seems kind of weird. Worse, it seems kind of French. But here's something to think about. If in the course of your bathroom activities or changing a diaper, you ever got a little bit of poop on your hands, would you ever just 
wipe your hand a few times with a piece of paper and say, good to go. No, you get poop on your hands, you're not done cleaning until you've run some soapy water over that hand. In fact, pretty much anywhere on your body that you got poop, you probably would not be satisfied just wiping it off with a piece of paper until you can't see it anymore. So if we would refuse to consider ourselves clean until we used soap and water on every other part of our body, why wouldn't we want to be able to rinse the hind quarters when we're done doing our business? If for no other reason, a hiking bidet can eliminate the need for a big wad of toilet paper. So that eliminates the big disgusting piles, it eliminates the cat hole problem, it eliminates you having to carry a big nasty Ziploc bag out with you. This seems like a pretty good idea to me. The Hygiena Solo weighs 1.7 ounces and costs 10 bucks. So, for less than $20 and less than 5 ounces of pack weight, you should be able to take care of your business on the Camino without causing any more destruction to that beautiful land. I hope this video has helped you out with your trail toilet considerations. If it has, please give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you click that bell notification when you subscribe, you will be alerted when new videos drop. I'm Doug, this is Camino 2020. Until next time, Buen Camino.